Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mark, and today I'm going to talk to all of you who've had trouble understanding what to do when you need to engrave something with your Glowforge that's thicker than a half an inch. Because you've probably figured out that you've somehow got to remove your crumb tray and you've got to raise it up and you're not really sure how high you need to raise it or why that all works that way. So I made a diagram that we're going to talk through today that will help you understand more what's going on so it all makes sense. So let's check out this diagram I've made. So I'll walk through the pieces real quick. This large rectangle, of course, is your Glowforge. This long rectangle here that's labored, labeled gantry, of course, is the gantry, the part that your laser head moves left and right and forward and back on. This gray box is the crumb tray, and also we'll talk about it in a minute. It's about 1.4 inches tall. Of course, this is your laser head. The red line coming in here is the laser that's bouncing off the uh, mirror on the far left. It's coming in and hitting this mirror right here that's inside the head and then coming straight down to hit your material. Then this yellow rectangle represents the lens that's inside the head. We'll talk about that in just a moment as well. So this is how the, generally how the Glowforge works. And it has what's called a focal zone, which is right underneath the laser head here. And it's a half an inch. In other words, there's a half an inch of space between the surface of the crumb tray and uh, up above it where it, the laser can focus. And if the, if the space there is larger than that, it can't focus anymore, which is what we'll talk about here in just a moment. The way that it focuses is, focuses is, the way that it focuses is <laughs> that this lens right here moves up and down in this shaft right here. It has magnets that allow it to move up and down. And when you're uh, turning your Glowforge on, you hear it tick a few times, tick, 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 tick. What's happening is this thing is moving up and down in this uh, shaft and it's just figuring out where it is. And this, again, is how it focuses. A lot of you, when you're first timers, you might think, oh, my lens keeps slipping down. No, it's supposed to move up and down in here. So as long as the magnets have it, don't worry about it at all. So when you put in material here and the laser auto focuses, what it does is it shoots a laser out, finds out where the top surface of your material is, and it moves this lens so that it's focused perfectly on the top of your material. So that's how that works. Now, if you've got a piece of material that is under a, a half of an inch, no problem. That's this one right here. You can just put it in there, let the laser uh, focus, autofocus on it. You'll be good to go. However, if you've got a piece of material that's thicker than half an inch, like say this, and it won't fit under there, then you have to do what uh, we always refer to as removing the crumb tray. So let's talk about that for a moment. We'll zoom out a little bit here. Uh, the crumb tray is 1.4 inches tall which means that the top surface of your material needs to be right there or within this half inch focal zone right here. You see that? This line right here and the top of the crumb tray. As long as the top uh, surface of your material is in this window right here, it can still focus. If the top surface of your material is way down here, in other words, it's outside of this focal zone right here, the laser cannot focus on it, can't find it, all right? So here's what we're going to do. If we were to take our crumb tray out, just pull it out like that. And if you were to put your material right here, this is too far away for the laser to focus on it. It's not in this half inch focal zone. And so it's going to say that no material is present or it can't find it or something of that nature. It's going to say that your material is too thick or too thin because it can't find it. So what you want to do then is put things under this to bring it up so that the top surface is between this height and this height right here, okay? And if you remember, if you're gonna do math on it, which is fine, the crumb tray is 1.4 inches tall, so you need to make sure that the top uh, surface of this material is between 1.4 and 1.9 inches tall because that's the half inch above this uh, surface of the tray. So now we know this really isn't that tough. You can use your calipers, you can use the no math tool that people have, but now that you understand you've got to get this top surface within this window right here so that the laser can focus on it, you're almost there now. All you got to do is put some pieces of wood underneath or whatever to make it from this bottom of the, tr bottom of the Glowforge to here, 1.4 to 1.9 inches. And once it's in there, then the laser can autofocus on it and you are good to go. 
So I hope these terminologies and these uh, images help you better understand what's happening. Uh, and once you do, I think you'll find that uh, it's really easy to know how high to raise the items. I've also got a tutorial that shows how to use your calipers and no math at all to find how tall this item is. So make sure you check that out. I'll put that in the uh, a link for that in the description here as well. Have a great day. If I can help you with anything, please let me know. I look forward to seeing the cool things that you guys make.